Hey, what's up everyone? Mark Coaster here and we have a brand new breakdown for you today. It's going to be on Christian Coleman and we're going to be looking at his top end speed. I've been doing these videos lately to give you guys a little bit more information about how some of these top sprinters, how fast they're able to go when they're at their top end speed. So as always, if you like the information, go ahead and click the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, go ahead and leave those down below. We'll hop in the video right now. All right, so this is when Christian Coleman ran 979 at the Diamond League Championships here. Uh, and so we're gonna do basically what we've been doing, which is just going based off of the markings here on the track and just being able to kind of calculate what it is that he's able to do as he's, he's printing here. So you can see the lands here. We can again, we'll look at the, the timestamp here. And then for me with my timestamp, I'm at 979 in terms of how long the actual video has been going so far. And he's a little bit past that that 8.5, um, or part, sorry, past that marker. And so we're going to be going, and we have one step, two step, three, four. And, and at four, I want to say he's, you know, he's he's past it by about a meter, right? So uh, 8.5 plus one is 9.5. You know, we could say that maybe he's at 9.3 as well. Like maybe he's not all the way to 9.5, especially since. With that step there he wasn't all the way into you know he, he was a little bit past that mark he wasn't perfectly even with it so we can maybe you know take a few away so i'm going to do it first with the 9.5 so we're going 9.5 divided by four because he took four steps so far to where he's at currently and then i'm going to multiply that we got 2.375 based off that and that's basically how much meters he's taking up per step right 2.375 per step so he's taking five steps so we're going to multiply that by five and we get 11.875 and then i'm going to divide that by the meters per second you know miles per hour per meter per second so divided by 44704 equals 26.56 miles per hour Okay, and so that's the one with the 9.5. We'll also try out the 9.3 as well. So 9.3 divided by 4 equals 2.325 meters per step. And then we're going to multiply that times 5 since you end up taking, oh, let me, let's go and get that fifth step in. You know, he actually hits the ground. That's right to me at that, that time period. You know, you can see here. And then also for me, this is actually 10, but my thing won't get me at right at the, the 979. It's at, you know, 10.80, but you know, it's one hundredth of a second more. Uh, so it's not going to be a huge difference there. So we have 11.625 in terms of how much he, how much distance he took up in all five of those steps. And then we'll divide that by 0.44704. And we get 26 miles an hour flat when, you know, at his top speed, right? So this is just assuming that he's about at his top speed there. I'd say anything between that 26.5 to 26 miles per hour is probably where he's at his top speed, which is great. And as we know with Christian Coleman, one of the things that he, you know, really can excel at is getting to that top speed very, very quickly. Has a little bit of trouble being able to hold that top speed, but then ends up kind of, so he ends up kind of uh, falling off at the end of his races, but, you know, has an amazing ability to get up to his top speed, which I think is absolutely, you know, phenomenal and something that, you know, we could definitely take some, some information from to allow us in, in better understanding exactly, you know, what we need to do in order to, um, get through that acceleration phase and I, I have a couple different links if you guys want to check out below, above to see some of the other breakdowns I've done of him that go more into his actual mechanics this is just looking at his top end speed I do kind of want to look to see you know if we're going to do this let's see how can I maybe do it um, let's go we're, I'm gonna go 25 miles an hour because I want to see how what do you guys need to actually do in order to run 25 miles an hour times point four four seven zero four it's eleven point one Right, so essentially, in order for you to be able to run 25 miles per hour, which should get you into the you know 10.5 or below time period, right, in terms of your your 100 meter time, right. So if you're looking to get below 10.5, I'd say you have to at least get to 25 miles per hour, and you know that's going to take 11.176 technically, so like 11.2 meters per second is how far you're traveling in order to accomplish that 25 mile per hour feet. Now there's a lot of different ways to be able to obviously do that, but really looking and working to be able to get, you know, that 
11 steps because I see a lot of people that will go in and as they're trying to get to their top end speed this is more so with like the 40s um, and, and when it comes to like the timing they'll go and you know it's like a critical time point to be able to get to 20 yards with, again this is with the 40 and under like 2.75 seconds right and so what I'll see is that at you know they'll get to like 19 yards at 2.7 right but that still makes it so then when they get to 20 yards you know going another yard further they're at 2.83 or something like that right because it takes a while for when that foot lands at the 19 yards to then be able to swing that back leg through we'll, we'll use this so boom so the time you actually would get another yard is going to be a few frames right it's going to it's going to be a little bit of time before you can actually get to a, another yard out so now that that time is end up ends up being very very precious and makes it so instead of you getting to that 275 or under point you end up being you know just a little bit further down so just being able to understand where you're taking your steps and where you might be falling short because if you can constantly get to that high top end speed and also be able to get uh, a lot of distance per step you're really going to set yourself up to be able to do to, to run great times not only in a four yard dash 60 meter sprint or 60 yard dash for baseball players 100 meter dash for sprinters so you can really um, separate from a lot of the other players within your sport because you'll be able to really master each one of your your steps which will make a big difference in you know acceleration your top end speed um, and just being able to get yourself more notice more exposure because when you see guys like christian coleman uh, or anybody that's really fast, Tyreek Hill, they really stand out when you're watching film of them, right? They're just so much faster than everybody. We want you to be able to get the same thing. And how you do that is you have to be able to master your steps and understand how much distance you should be taking per step and how much ground you need to be taking or, or picking up in order to, you know, get to those elite miles per hour. All right, as always guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or want to get a breakdown yourself, you can go ahead and check the description down below. We also have a speed program down below as well and a lot of different resources to help you out in improving your speed. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.